It was not too long ago that we spoke about moonlighting, you know, the practice of having a second job. Last time, we told you that companies must disclose their moonlighting policy, tell employees where they draw the hard line. Two Indian companies have now disclosed their moonlighting policies and I am afraid it's not good news. Indian IT giant Infosys says moonlighting can lead to termination. In other words, if an employee works elsewhere post work hours, he or she could be sacked. Tech giant Wipro's thoughts on moonlighting have been made clear through a tweet. It's from Wipro's chairman Rishad Premji and he brands moonlighting as plain and simple cheating. So what is this taboo around moonlighting all about? Just so that people understand the concept better, let's once again tell you the definition of moonlighting. It is the practice of taking up a second job after work hours. Now two things you must note at this point. One, we are talking about a second job, not a primary job. And two, we are talking about a job that's done post work hours and during work hours. So you could safely say moonlighting is the paid work that you do during your free time or what people call me time. Basically time that's beyond your employer's jurisdiction. So can employers really forbid you from moonlighting? Historically, employees have often been moonlighting, school teachers have provided tuitions to students, executives moonlight as consultants, people have been moonlighting for ages. So why has it suddenly become a problem? Recently, an employee was found to be working seven jobs. HRs tracked multiple provident accounts linked to this employee. He was a techie, an Indian techie, working in India's very own Silicon Valley, Bengaluru, and the news spread like wildfire. It triggered a debate. The question was simple. Should employees be allowed to moonlight? The answer should have been simple as well. You know, why not? As long as an employee is transparent about it. As long as there is no conflict of interest. As long as he or she is not compromising on her primary job or showing up to work drained and exhausted. Because come to think of it, what is wrong with moonlighting? People have varied interests. People also have financial goals and moonlighting helps both. So giving it a green signal only seemed fair. But it seems like all is not fair in India's job sector. Moonlighting is being weighed on moral scales. It is being called cheating, even two timing. Moonlighting is being forbidden. The email sent by Infosys, uh, sent to Infosys employees came with the subject line that read, no two timing, no moonlighting. What did the rest of that email say? Let me read it out to you. At Infosys, dual employment is not permitted as per the employee handbook and the code of conduct. As clearly stated in your offer letter, you agree not to take employment, whether full-time or part-time, as director, partner, member, employee of any other organization, entity, engaged in any form of business activity without the consent of Infosys. The consent may be given subject to any terms and conditions that the company may think it and may be withdrawn at any time at the discretion of the company. What does the Indian law say about moonlighting? There is no specific law prohibiting moonlighting in India. The most important document in this context is actually your job contract. Its terms and conditions decide whether or not you can actually moonlight. There are two clauses that you should watch out for. The first one is a single employment clause. Your work contract may legally bind you to a single job. And the second one is the non-competing clause. And this is where the employers are exercising their power, stopping employees from moonlighting. It's like blocking an employee's pursuit of happiness, her pursuit of excellence, of learning new skills, of achieving more. If the pandemic has taught us one thing about us, it is this, a person's job is just a part of his or her life, not her life in itself. In the era of flexible working, can tech giants really afford to ban moonlighting? We understand where their concern is stemming from and mostly it's to do with conflict of interest and breach of confidential information. But what if a given case 
involves neither. What if your software engineer is moonlighting as a DJ and he is disclosing it? What if your human resource manager is moonlighting as a yoga instructor and he or she is transparent about it? Should you then be stopping her? And this is where Infosys says the consent may be given subject to any terms and conditions that the company may think fit. But the next part of the sentence hammers the spirit. It says consent may be withdrawn at any time at the discretion of the company. But what grounds are we talking about? Two weeks ago, when we said companies need to disclose their moonlighting policies, it was so that employees get some clarity, so that they know what they can and cannot do. But grey area helps no one. Employees who want to moonlight will moonlight anyway, and they will be doing it secretively, which actually does an employer more harm than good. Also, what if a rival company is allowing moonlighting? Wouldn't employers then be losing talent? So is a ban on moonlighting really desirable or sustainable? Here's one thing employers must understand. An employee has 24 hours in a day. Her work contract demands that she spends about 9 hours at work. So that is 24 minus 9. What she does in the remaining 15 hours of time should not be anyone's business. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.